Prince Harry will continue to support UK youth charity despite Canada move and royal exit. Prince Harry will continue to support a UK youth club charity even after he steps back from the royal family later this month, the organization's chairman has confirmed. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle will no longer be working royals from next month, in an agreed deal with the Queen. The pair will undergo a year transition period but will not undertake official engagements on behalf of Her Majesty or the Commonwealth from April 1. However, Harry will continue to support the charity on side which provides safe environments for young people. Mr. Roberts, 46, founder of OWD.com and chairman of the executive board at Onside, told Fennell, I can confirm that Harry has personally confirmed his continuing support for Onside. Harry most recently visited Onside Youth Zone in East London's Barking and Dagenham in April 2019. In January 2019, his wife Meghan Markle joined him on a visit to the Hive Weirl Youth Zone, which is part of the Onside network. During their visit Meghan, who was pregnant with Archie at the time, and Prince Harry spoke with children. One of the young members at the Hive told Meghan and Harry of her mental health struggle after losing her father. Harry, who lost his own mother Princess Diana when he was young, told her, once you've been through something hard yourself you never want other people to go through that again. Help more young people and help them, thank you for sharing your story in front of all these people. Meanwhile, Meghan said, your story is so important and inspiring and you've done so well. Harry returned to the UK last week from Canada for his first engagement in Edinburgh. He and his wife Meghan, who will arrive in the UK this week, are attending several engagements before they leave royal life behind them. On Friday, Harry and Meghan shared footage of the Duke of Sussex's work with John Bon Jovi at Abbey Road Studios in aid of the Invictus Games Foundation. Today Buckingham Palace confirmed Harry and Meghan's final official engagement will be on March 9, when they will join the Queen. Kate and William at Westminster Abbey to mark Commonwealth Day. Meghan and Harry will attend the Endeavour Fund Awards on March 5 and the Mountbatten Music Festival on March 7. Harry will also join Lewis Hamilton at the official opening of the Silverstone Experience on March 6, while Meghan part in International Women's Day tributes on May 8. According to a friend, Prince Harry is finding the winding up of his royal duties emotional and bittersweet. The friends told Vanity Fair, it's an emotional time for him in many ways. I think in many ways it's bittersweet. He's always wanted to have a regular life and to get away from the spotlight, and that's what he's doing, but it basically means walking away from his family. Harry's a loving loyal guy so that will be very hard for him. At the Travelist Summit in Edinburgh the Duke insisted attendees call him just Harry and he has reportedly told friends losing his HRH title is a small price to pay to secure the life he and Meghan want. While Harry and Meghan will still technically retain their HRH titles they have agreed not to use them after March 31 when they step back as working royals. Ken Worf, Princess Diana's former bodyguard who watched Harry and William grow up, believes the Duke's late mother would have applauded Harry's decision. He added, Diana always said you have to make your own way in this family and Harry is doing that.